Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that on whatever day it is, I don't know, Thursday 29th of December, I think. But uh, anyway, let's do some painting. This is a uh, stretch canvas. It's 20 by 16 inches, got it landscape mode. I think I might do a landscape. And I'll turn my palette cam on. And on my palette, I've got some linseed oil in the middle. Because my, my palette's on a slope, it's on a hill, my table is kind of spread into my yellow just there. But anyway, I've got Payne's Grey. Got some earth green with a bit of carmine red mixed into it. Make a reasonably interesting colour. Got some Indian yellow. Got some medium yellow, which the linseed oil has uh, encroached onto. And um, titanium white. So literally five colours and that's it. That'll do me. So anyway, let's uh, start doing some painting. Let's uh, grab a bit of this linseed oil and some, what do you call it, earth green with a carmine red mixed into it. I might, um, you know, I might grab some that yellow as well. Let's see what happens. And off we pop. Yeah, we're all doing all right. Oh, it's quite nice that um, medium yellow mixed in. Not bad at all. Yeah, I did a ship yesterday, which yeah, it, it turned out that I wasn't entirely happy with. It's not my, uh, it's not my best, but uh, yeah, enjoyed it. That's what it's all about. Nice quick landscape. I'm in a quick mood. Let's give my brush a quick wipe. Right, I'm going to put some uh, Payne's Grey in the foreground, I reckon. Just make some interesting stuff down here, hopefully. A bit more of that green. Yeah, this paint goes on uh, gorgeously. It's lovely paint. Le Franc bourgeois stuff. It's worth spending a few extra beans on. It really is incredible paint. Right, that's that. I might do a bit of, just clean my brush, then do a bit of wiping away. There's some kitchen towel. Trust me, cameras are on. Yeah, I think they're on. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. Just wipe some light into there. various shapes and things going on. That's interesting, that line there with a clump of trees. I'll try and keep that. Right, what next? I might put some uh, titanium white just on the horizon there. For no particular reason, just lob some out of the sky as well. Pull them out for a quick clean. 
in quite a low on kitchen towel and linseed oil and various other su supplies. I'll have to stock up and use that kitchen towel just to wipe away that horizon a bit. Hopefully create a bit of haze. It kind of worked. There we go, it worked reasonably well. Right, so I think about the sky. I haven't got any blue on my palette, I'll um, try and do without. It's kind of did that deliberately. Right, get some Payne's Grey up here. Maybe a bit of that yellow. Might be quite sickly at this stage, but soon tone things down. A bit more Payne's Grey. Looking fast as usual. Right, let's go over that on the uh, fence brush. the bush again and put my hand on the kitchen towel a bit more Payne's grey just there Right, next. I wonder what will happen if I just wipe away some of that. That's quite interesting. Quite a nice effect. Not bad. Right, anyway, you know, because I've used quite a bit of linseed oil, it's made quite a nice effect just on there, a nice wall or something going on. Nice. Right, a bit more of this green. Put some stuff up here. Perhaps Payne's Grey. I don't know, actually know what I'm doing. I'm just making up as I go along, which is what I usually do. Put more wiping away. Ah. <sighs> 
wiping away with that part knife as well. I'm trying to leave that feature if I can. That yellow is not bad, that works all right. Now Clean the bush again. Might just scrape away some of that. Might have gone a bit, a bit thick. over with my fence brush just take some of them sharp edges out and the lines created by the pallet knife reasonably effective. Uh, a bit more of that yellow just there. grey maybe might uh, grab some Payne's grey with my pallet knife feel I need a bit of a feature there like that cliff edge or whatever and some scratches on as well not looking too bad at all got some distant cliffs there as well yes you know, I wasn't sure at first, but now it is growing on me quite a bit. Yep. You know, you, you reach a certain stage when you're doing a painting that you know it's going to work. And I'm at that stage now. You become a lot happier. I just need to get that sky worked on a bit. But we're almost there. Yeah, it's uh, made all the difference having something there. That's all that was missing. All right, let's have a bit of a think. Give me brush a quick clean again. Let's have a, a do with this guy. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on in the sky. Quite pleased. Get some Indian yellow, I think, which I forgot to use. Perhaps a bit more Payne's grey. Just 
stormy, angry sky. Have a quick whiz over in my fence brush once I've given it a bit of a clean. Good, 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 good. I'm pleased as punch. Nice contrast going on between the yellow and the darker Payne's grey. Let's do a bit of wiping away again. Create some interest. I think I've used just the right amount of linseed oil. It's worked out quite nicely. I wonder if I just uh, grab some, what do you call it? Titanium wire just to plonk there. Maybe a little up here as well. Get the good old fence bush again. I need a new one actually with the handle dropping off a couple of weeks ago. Let's give that a quick wipe over with the bush, create a bit of movement, a bit of drama. yellow in there and all maybe uh, let's get some Indian yellow Let's have a think, maybe along there. Another quick wipe over. Oh, that's quite effective that. Quite interesting. Yeah, I do like that. That's not bad. Right, finishing touches. We're just about there, I think. A bit more Payne's Grey, just there. Put a little rock or two on, a few scrapes, and then we're done. lumps and bumps uh, yeah I'm not gonna over egg the pudding but I think we're there it's a nice quick one so uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, I'm on YouTube and Instagram, 
well, obviously I'm on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm on uh, Facebook and my website, which I need to update actually, johnkedd.co.uk. So uh, yeah, I think we're there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.